now this seven dimension we call coparis customer experience operational convenience performance analytics risk integration every customer wants a better ux every customer wants a better report these are two things which customer sees from our software all the things are inside the programming what do they see from us the report and the screens everything else is within the box so two elements one is break down into a mystery to algorithm the elements don't leave the problem statement till the time you come to the touch and feel of the element second thing is very important is what is your role modeling which i described the role modeling is a starting point for your thinking process a good five reports is more than 50 reports given to the customer so less is more last 2% is 200% and we need to look at which are the five decisions which are most critical for him to make we celebrate too many reports some time you say oh i have given 100 reports to the customer why does he need 100 reports have you ever asked the question of the customer now same thing coming to report what is the report of what is the report we prepare for the customer what does the report indicates so what is the purpose of the reports one is for decision making second is for aud audit trail monitoring is the third purpose of business level monitoring okay how the data flowing okay what else is the purpose of reports what if analysis trend analysis now trend analysis is very important purpose of the report on last 12 months what is the trend analysis what is my data compared to the last year data comparison and trend analysis is the most critical piece of a report now what is the trend analysis let's go to the next question of it what is the trend analysis mean so what is the trend consist of historical data historical data means what time nahi no, timeline time series so one element is time series you analyze the data on a time series which is the trend and what is the second dimension of it volume can be one parameter number of transactions on a time series volume business unit the second dimension could be comparison will be between what between business units and the time series this business unit can be within the company if you compare this data with a competitor data hdfc bank and icci bank then it becomes a market competitive analytics so basically on one dimension there is a business unit second dimension there is a time series and what is the third dimension no, the volume 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 is there so the third dimension is volume fourth dimension some countries across countries how much is revenue from america how many come how much revenue is from europe how much you are so on one side you have a business unit other side there is a geography now in a l1 of the any analytics will be time series second dimension is business within business products within product customer segment so on one dimension is a time series second is a business series third is a geography and fourth is a data volume is a data so it's three dimensional time series geography series and business series if you have fourth block let's come out with and this fourth block we'll accept it there's no i'm not saying not to accept it but there should be logical reasoning to accept the fourth block now that is possible because we ask the right question so we remove the mystery to heuristics now i'm looking the algorithm of design how you define a ux what is the principle of ux number of clicks if lesser number of clicks means it's a better ux is a one one element is 
lesser clicks. What else is there in UX which is good? Should be good? Lesser data entry. Lesser data entry is the second element of UX. Ease of navigation. So navigation is a third piece which is there. And order of navigation. Colors. Proper use of colors. Why colors? Yes, Readability is there. Comfortable for eyes. It should be pleasing to the eyes. And you are saying readability. Readability is a very important point. The appropriate font size is your better UX. But what is the principle you applied? If you want to look at UX definition, you should say my same code should uh, work in different environment in a similar way. When customer asks you, I need a better UX, you need to ask him the five questions. What is the readability index? of the application, navigation, number of clicks. So if you break down the problem into elements, then you can solve it better. Now when we say better UX, then will you choose one color? Depend on the taste. How will you find the taste? Because you are designing an application, which anybody can use. Provide the option to change the theme. That's the one way. Second way, in your database, do you have the age of the customer? You know the gender of the customer? So now, if you think pleasing colors is a method, and you have a date of birth of the customer as a part of the database, and you have a gender of the customer, and you have a sign research done that a, a girl of 18 year old will like pink color more than the purple color, or a girl of 40 years will like green color more than a blue color, if that research is available, can I pick up a color automatically for that theme or, gi or give a choice to the customer? UX means color, US means navigation, UA UX means number of fields, lesser number of fields. If I write down the principles and then go level one, level two, level three, then I can get a better first time right programming. Now operational, we, let's break down operation also. In operations, what other kind of a different variables are there in operations? Following the process. So process is what? Process means a set of sequence of steps to complete an action is the definition of process. Who are the actors? In that process steps, there will be some actors who will act on that process. And then there is a, so for that, when you connect the steps with the actors, what is called? It's called workflow. And what does actor do? Actor makes some decisions. So what do you put in an application? We put some rules for making some decisions. What are the rules? Rules are decision point. So rule is a encoded decisions. What is the definition of efficient operation design? If number of steps can be reduced, if I have a single click account opening or a one minute account opening, decision making by the system itself rather than an actor making a decision. If actor is making a decision, it will be slow. If those rules have been put into the embedded in the system, then it will be faster. So it's 20 step process if I convert into five step process, that's what my role as a operations design. So any application which is more efficient the design. So each user journey, when we define today, now the next step would be, with if a user journey has 20 touch points, can I make it five touch points? And can I make AI built into it? Some of the steps, when I'm making a rules, I can build on my AI learnings, I can embed into it. And if I embed AI learning into it, the process steps will be lesser. That's the role of AI. That's the role of a robotic process automation. Discuss operations. Operations is nothing but three, three elements. Workflow, rules, and actors. If you want to use the word raw, <laughs> you can use R-A-W. Rules, actors, and workflow.
So what is the performance typically on computer system? What are the elements of performance? What is the lowest level of health performance? What are the basic computer, what computer works on? Who, who gives you the speed? CPU? Yeah, so response time is the outcome. I'm going to one level, I'm opening the lid. Response time is the outcome. Response time is the outcome of CPU. Internal computer is CPU, which we call VMs or CPU. Storage. And fourth is? So if you understand the core computer is only three things. So you have to optimize, performance is the optimization between the three resources. And fourth resource, people have not come out, is the network on which data travels. Response is the outcome of your network. The computer, how they are network connected, server to server connected. We say, so it's a networking connected. Whether server to server directly connected, network, the point to point network connecting, that's the fourth element. So any perform response time, what is the performance? Performance is response time. Response time is the outcome of four resources to be optimized between network, CPU, memory, and hard disk. So what you keep in hard disk, it's the slowest device is hard disk. Memory is the next fastest. CPU is the third. Network is the fourth. Once our thinking is a primary elemental level thinking, then I will able to optimize the resources better. Now optimizing in each one of them, now, cheapest resource is what out of all of it? Then I look at pricing of the each resource. The storage is cheapest. So if I keep anything on storage, one terabyte is 1,000 rupees. No, no issue. So if I keep some data in a pre-storage format, pre-cooked format, it's zero value, lowest cost. My highest cost is CPU. Memory is next, then CPU. And the network is the most expensive because it's consumed on a second basis. So I know the 10 gram, 100 gram, 1000 gram, 10,000 gram. So network is my 10,000 gram item, CPU is my 1000 gram item, memory is my 100 gram item, and storage is 10 gram item. Customer says, I need a good analytics. What does a good analytics mean? What is the definition of good analytics? Presentation of data, level one. Now come to next. What does it mean, presentation of data? Means converting the data into information. That's the first step. And what is the information means? Starting point is decision. So what is the question should I ask the customer? When he asks a good MIA, what is the first question should I ask? What decision you want to take? What are the decision do you take in daily life? What are the KPIs? You have to go one step above, above. Why the KPIs are required? Analytics means decisions, huh, fundamentally. You start from the decision only. From those decisions, you make KPIs. From KPIs, you create a majors. And from majors, you create a data and information. So there's a four level hierarchy. So analytics is a supporting to make some decisions. So if you know how many decisions you make in a month, how many decisions you make in a week, so how many decisions are repeatable? Okay. If you know the number of decisions, branching decisions, you know the patterns of decisions you're making, mm -hmm. can you draw the patterns of the decision? Once you know the patterns of decision, in last six months, if you observe mm -hmm. how many times you made the different branching decisions, there will be some three or four patterns. Yes. If 10 patterns are there, mm -hmm. can you call it C1, C2, C3, C4? Yeah. That is a heuristic. Mm -hmm. Now, only thing which we have not covered is the risk. Risk during the application, risk during the operations. Risk is business risk related to the operations risk. Risk related to business risk, risk related to technology failure. So risk related to technology failure, we call it. Operation risk will be fraud. And then business risk could be, which is related to 
you can't handle too, application doesn't handle too much of a business risk. Business risk is a ALM and other things. So from our perspective, when you're writing application, the risk is related to technology and risk is related to operations. If we can solve these two risks, we are perfect. Integration is different application to exchange information. That's it. So, th so you write down this definition. A lot of time we don't write it down. So whenever you're solving a problem using design thinking, you start writing the problem statement in few words. So you're saying integration is exchanging information across two applications. What are the variations are there in integration? When you are exchanging the information? So second is now if this change of information is two points are different, now you're saying the information types are different. Now yes. I'm picking you one word. So when you are breaking down the problem statement, you go to the next level. You pick up a one word. What does the information mean? Now information will come in different formats. Different the formats will be different. Because information for application B and application A and B are transferring. So application A is giving a information in one pattern while application B is picking the information in pattern B. So I need to have a understanding the patterns of the information input information. And how many then you look at next level message types. Uh, so you are looking at the patterns of yeah. all all possible message types. Mm -hmm. So then next step next is in how many ways the information can come. It could become in comma separated file. It come in JSON format. XML. It can come in XML format. It can be in Swift format. It could in be Swift format. In, in banking especially. And what else? Mm. Four? There is one more like ISO 8583. It's a uh, card, uh, card processing, card data processing. So, so ISO 8583 format? Excel. There are five formats are there. Maybe Excel is another. Hash map. Excel is a? So now this is a, it's a finite. Again, five types of the message format. So now they looked at it, they are finite. This, this five could be six, it could be seven, but they're only finite. Now input is a five type of format, and output wants in, so there's a JSON format on input, and you want in XML, then you need a interpreter in between. That's what the Oli Fabric do. So transformation is technical word, I'm just using the word interpreter <laughs> for a common English language. Mm -hmm. So I do the transformation of a JSON format to XML format. Today I write by the coding there. Now they know how to change XML JSON to XML. That's the integration there. So that is another pattern that either information come in bulk or information comes in. Uh, my consumption can be like I buy the ration for the, my house together, bulk. But I consume every day. I buy 5 kg of rice, but I consume every day. Similarly, my data is coming in a bulk, but I'm consuming in an application step by step. step by that step. process pattern used to be put into your integration. Yes. So it's like a splitting. Uh, we call it as splitting and aggregation. It's splitting and aggregation. Yeah. Now integration. So now you understood integration. The way we understood the UX, we understood. Integration has a five message format, input, output, and then there is a bulk and sequencing. And then there is a ease of connecting the dots is a canvas studio, sorry, Olive Studio, where you can do the visual of connecting the dots. Now, once we solve this mystery to algorithm, then how much time does it take? It's a less than an hour. Earlier, what was there in integration? It was a mystery to all of us. Now I'll take security, next element security. Let's work together on security. What is the security meaning? How you define a security? Security is about three words. Write it down somewhere. I think this is a beautiful definition emerging. Security, it's confidentiality. Integrity. Integrity. Availability. Availability to the right person, which is a confidentiality. Is anything else in security? 
So now this simple definition of security. Now if security has, so where, where is the chances this confidentiality can be broken? When we say cyber security, ethical hacking, what are the chance, what are the elements on which you can do the, somebody can do the hacking? What are the elements are there of security? Information flow, you need to look at the pipe of the information flow from where, which point to which point it, it travels. What are the touch points of that? Information moving. I need to secure every touch point of information. So what are the touch point of information? First is your device. Information start from device. So I need to maintain security of the device. Then information move to, from device it goes to network, some channel. Then I have to protect the channel. From channel it goes to some firewall of the, I need a permission of a firewall to enter into a server. From that firewall I get into server, from server I need to get into database. From database I need to get into the app. These are the five touch points. If you draw this five touch point, then you look at what is the vulnerability of each touch point. Vulnerability of the device, vulnerability of the network, vulnerability of the firewall, vulnerability of the server, vulnerability of database, vulnerability of the app. Is this the security? The six elements? Can we call it S1 to S6? So S1 means device security, S2 means network security, S3 means firewall security, S4 means server, S6, S5 is database, S6 is my application. Now if this is the six security element, whenever you're writing the application, you need to see whether every touch point you are, are relieving any vulnerability in the application. So we discuss C, customer experience, we discuss operations. Operations is nothing but three, three elements. Workflow, rules and actors. My performance is four elements. CPU, memory, storage, network, analytics, time series, business series, time, time business and Geography, TMG, or TBG, and volume. Volume is an element, and volume. Integration is orchestration, message formats, and transformation. Integration is about three things. Security is around three things, and six touch points. 